Hey guys, welcome to Silent Shooter's Battlefield 2 Editor Tips and Tricks. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to add ambient sounds to your Battlefield 2 map that you'll be working on. Uh, I'm doing this for Project Reality, so mine's all set up with the PR Edit folder and everything else you need to map for that specific mod. Now, problem was is I wanted to get the vanilla Battlefield 2 ambient sounds from their maps into my map, and I couldn't figure out how to do that. After a lot of research on forums and uh, other online articles and stuff, I finally figured out a way how to, and I just wanted to make this video to show you guys how to do it. Now basically, uh, doing it this way, you're going to need to set it up a little bit, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now to get to the ambient sound effects in the vanilla Battlefield 2 maps. So first thing you're going to want to do is go into your EA Games directory, where your Battlefield 2 is located. Mine's in my common... Um, hard drive and it's under C program files EA games battlefield 2 mods and then battlefield 2 mod now as you can see on my screen I have all these folders and the majority of you probably won't unless you've extracted everything first now what you're going to need to do is get something say uh, WinRAR or another zip program and then you're going to have to um, extract the common client folder now I just went ahead and extracted everything because I'll use it sometime in the future but you need to right click on the common client folder like this and if you have WinRAR uh, dialog box is going to pop up that says extract to blank and blank see so extract files extract here and extract a common client now I just extracted the common client so I kept the folder name and it's located right here now basically what you're going to need to do now is go into this and make sure that you have the sound that you want to add to your map. Now I didn't know what I wanted to add to my map so I found a place where I could f add a sound and it was on, in a forest on a mountain. So basically what I'm looking for is a forest sound. Now to get the level ambient sounds from Vanilla Battlefield 2 you need to go into the level ambience folder. So first open up your common client folder, go into sound, and then look for the level ambience folder. We're going to go into that and choose the level that might have our sound. So I did some of this before I made this tutorial and uh, I found that my sounds in Dragon Valley. So basically I'm just going to open up that folder and then choose my sound which is going to be Forest 1. Now they're in an AUG format, that's OGG Vor Vorbis audio file. Um, not a lot of standard stuff plays that so what I did is I downloaded VLC which I'll put the link in the description for it and you can basically use that to play it. Now I'm just playing the sound to make sure it's something I want which you can hear right now and it sounds about right. This is something that I think I would be perfect for my forest on my map. So basically I'm going to close this now and make note of what it was. I believe it was forest one. So I'm just going to keep that in the back of my head for now. Okay, so now that I have my sound effect in the back of my head and I know which one I want to use, we can go ahead and minimize this box. Don't close it unless you are 100% sure that's what you want to use because now I can go back and use references while I am actually have the Battlefield 2 editor open. Now, what I have to do now is actually add the ambient sound effect to my map in the Battlefield 2 editor. Now, I preloaded the Battlefield 2 editor on my system because it takes forever to because my computer's ancient, so I'm just going to open that right now. My map's already preloaded as well as the PR edit mod, which you have to create to map for Project Reality. Now, basically, we need to add this little sound effect to this forest in front of me, which I have right in the center of my screen. Easiest way to do this is to figure out where we want to put the actual ambient sound effect. So I'm going to use the space bar to move around my screen and move forward a little bit and then press escape to get back my cursor. Now right in this little patch right here I want to have my actual ambient sound effect. So what I'm going to do is right click with my mouse and this little dialog pop pop-up box comes up. What I need to select now is create ambient sound right here. Now this box pops up and we just have to enter a name for the sound, so I'm going to call it Forest 1 and press OK. Now this little green icon shows up. This is the ambient sound effect uh, little icon. This is what shows up every time you make one and it's always going to be there unless you select it, 
which is kind of a, a glitch in the Battlefield 2 editor. But see, you'll see what I mean when I hover over this with a actual selection box. See how it disappears? But it's back. So now that we actually have it selected, what we need to do is add our sound to it. The easiest way to do this is go through the, tr the, tweaker, uh, the tweaker bar. Basically, I always close mine just to keep resolution on my screen okay. So we just go to view and then tweaker to open the tweaker bar and then our ambient sound effect options come up on the left. Now what we need to do is go to sound file name. It shows it's empty right now which is good for us because if it shows there's something in it then there probably was an error when you made the actual sound effect. So what you want to do now is click it and this box, box pops up. This is how we actually add the sound to it. So we have to go to the plus right here, click that, and another box will pop up. This is the box that shows you all the stuff you have loaded for the actual mod through the Battlefield 2 editor. It's not though, we have to remember that we the sound wasn't in the Project Reality edit folder. We took that from the vanilla Battlefield 2 folder, so what we have to do is go to the drop down menu and select Battlefield 2. If, you're sh if your Battlefield 2 is already selected and you don't have the common client folder, just select it again because it's a glitch in the Battlefield 2 editor. Now what we have to do is go into Common Client, Sound, Level Ambience, and remember, my was in Dragon Valley, so I have to choose Dragon Valley, scroll down until I find the one I want, and forest.ogg. Press OK. Now this is coming up right here in the box I showed you earlier. And this means that's going to be loaded into the ambient sound effect icon. So we have to press OK to finalize that and now our empty is gone and if I made this bigger like this it would eventually show what the file name was. Now this is very important and I guarantee you need to do this. You have to change the loop count to zero so select it and use zero on your mouse or on your keyboard sorry or you can use your mouse on the little arrows right here to move it up and down. Just press enter when you're done doing that one. Now loop count basically makes, if it's zero, it's endless. One means it loops once, two means it loops twice, etc, etc. Now what we also have to do is go down to stop type and make sure if you have loop count zero that stop type is also zero. So change that and press enter to make sure it's finalized and now what we can do is change the minimum distance that our ambient sound effect is triggered when the player is walking through my map. So I'm going to change this to something like 25. But you'd notice on the screen that we don't actually have anything to show us that it's changed. We don't know where the radius actually is on the map, so there's no way of finding that out. That's what I previously thought, but there is a way to actually show you. What you have to do is go back to render render on your toolbar and this is very important if you want to see where your radius for the sound actually starts and ends. Then you have to go down to tr toggle, dr toggle draw minimum distance excuse me and then we have to select selected or all or ambient. All will select every single thing and make a uh, minimum distance sphere around it. Ambient will do only the ambient effects, and selected will only do, obviously, the things that are selected. So if I press selected, this little white sphere pops up, and we can see where my sound begins and where it ends. Basically, if my person on my map is walking into the sphere, and it hits the sphere, he'll start hearing the sound, or she'll. Now, what we need to do is before this sound actually starts to load and play in the actual editor, we have to save our map. Now, I'm not going to do this because I'm not 100% sure if this is the sound I want, but I can always come back and change it later. Basically, if you want to get rid of the, box, the sphere around the sound and all ambient things selected, is you just go to Render and then Toggle Draw Minimum Distance off, and this removes it. Now, we know where that is on our map, and if we wanted to, we could save our map now. I'm just going to exit the tweaker bar. We could just save and it'll bring up this and we just press OK. We have to make sure that objects is selected to save ambient sound effects. Now I'm going to just go ahead and cancel the save dialog box because as I mentioned earlier I don't actually want to save this to my map. And I'm just going to go ahead and cancel it 
And there you go. That's how you add ambient sound effects to your map. I hope you guys learned um, everything you needed to learn. I hope I explained it as well um, and perfectly to the best of my abilities at least. And if you guys want me to keep doing these things, uh, it'd be, I'd appreciate it if you just left a comment or something um, telling me what you'd like me to do next and I'll see if I can do those. Um, anyways, happy Battlefield 2 modding.